Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars video. Another short one and another sort of rambling one because I want to talk about the developments we've had today in regard to Episode 9 and that movie's insane level of leaks. But if you just want a normal lore video, I also posted one about Palpatine's death in Legends that I'll make sure I link in the comments or something. Also, I will probably be streaming tonight on X2, which is my gaming channel. Also a link to that. But with the self-promotion out of the way, let's move on. So before we continue, I will say that I'm going to do my best to avoid all spoilers for this video. However, the comment section certainly will not be spoiler free. I just can't control that. And if you're worried about episode nine being spoiled, I would honestly just suggest avoiding Twitter, Reddit, and probably YouTube until you get to see the movie. So, for those who aren't familiar, Star Wars has one of, perhaps the, most active leak communities on the internet. I put it right up there with Game of Thrones and the MCU. There are entire websites and organizations which make most of their money by talking about leaks and rumors, and r slash Star Wars leaks is one of the most popular Star Wars subreddits on all of Reddit. Star Wars has an interesting history with leaks. Almost all of The Force Awakens was leaked significantly in advance, allegedly due to a lost call sheet or something like that after Harrison Ford was injured. But yeah, almost the entire plot was leaked online, people knew that Luke would only be in the last minute or so of the movie, they knew that Han Solo would die, and they knew that Rey would be the Jedi rather than Finn. Because a lot of you might not remember, the original trailers almost painted it like Finn would be the Jedi, and a lot of people realized that Rey might be one as well. But the marketing for that movie, which overall I thought was really well done, didn't give very much away. Then we move away from JJ into Ryan Johnson and Episode 8, and it was almost like the exact opposite. Almost nothing of that movie was leaked in advance. And even weeks before screening, there was almost no information about what the actual plot would be. The first real information was based on early reactions. And even then, because the movie was so different than Episode 7, there were a lot of people who were unsure what was true and what was not. Even the more well-known leakers got a lot of stuff wrong about that movie or just didn't bother to attempt to share anything. It was really, really locked down, especially when compared to Episode 7. And I don't remember quite as much for Solo or Rogue One, I just think because the stakes are a little bit lower for those type of movies, but from what I remember, not much leaked until the actual movies themselves were released. I remember watching grainy footage of the Vader scene, but that's basically it. The Mandalorian, similarly, has been really tight with leaks. The only thing that we knew in advance was that Baby Yoda would be in it, and we know very little about what's happening moving forward, other than some set pictures. That takes us to Episode 9, and again, I won't be talking about the tone of the leaks, how people have reacted to the leaks, what the leaks actually contain, I just want to talk about the actual process of the information getting out. Still, if you guys are interested, I will include links to everything down in the description. So around the time of the most recent big trailer for The Rise of Skywalker, I made a video talking about how the leaks of a Reddit user named Jedi Paxis seem to be coming to fruition. We have no idea how Jedi Paxis got his leaks, but he's had almost the entire plot for three months now, and has additionally been posting leaked pictures of art, some very spoilery stills from the movie itself, and more. Finally today, Jedi Paxis, who by the way is also a moderator of the Star Wars Leak subreddit, posted an entire breakdown of the movie, basically having been in contact with someone who has actually seen it, with details of basically everything. Now, unsurprisingly, as Paxis has released details, people have been admittedly very, very skeptical. However, basically everything that's been officially released up to this point has confirmed the leaks. Without getting into major spoilers, plot points that he's had on paper for three or four months now have showed up everywhere from the initial trailers to even some of the most recent teasers. An example which I'll bury down in the description would be something seen held by one of the characters in a recent bit of footage. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. As I mentioned, the leaks have also been corroborated by a leaked screen from the movie, which unfortunately is no longer available because of a Disney copyright claim. Fair enough. Also with the recent age classification rating, which listed some details. Then today we also had parts of the soundtrack itself leak. Now, I've got to be careful here because I'm not sure exactly how this works, 
but portions of the soundtrack were placed online in order for Oscar consideration and they're accessible to the public. I'm not sure if that's usually how things are done, but in this case, the soundtrack was also released with the track names, which again, tie in to the leaked plot. The only way I can describe this is as an absolute shit show. Not the plot itself, but the fact that JJ and co seem incapable of maintaining security around such a high profile movie. I mean, we didn't even know that Yoda was going to be in episode 8 until we saw it in theaters. You might be asking, well, Eck, why do you care? It seems like you visit these leaked subreddits or these communities. And I do. Personally, leaks don't really bother me. I basically always have someone who will DM me questions about the leaks anyway and end up spoiling it for me, so I just do it myself. But 4chan, Reddit, and Twitter trolls are going to go out of their way to ruin this movie for people who don't want to be spoiled. Every time something big comes up, if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, you've got a chance of being spoiled. I saw people posting the track list on Twitter. Any Facebook or Twitter post by Star Wars, the official account, is likely to have people talking about spoilers in the comments section. There are even memes about it now, which are by their inherent nature meant to spread, and and I just don't understand. How did JJ let this happen, and how did Lucasfilm not do better to ensure the security of this film? Again, we have almost nothing known about The Mandalorian. That series has worked with kids, it's done on a weekly basis, and still it's maintained security. I don't want to point fingers, especially where I don't know really how the film industry works, but a lot of people online have been pointing fingers at Bad Robot, which is essentially JJ's production company. Obviously they worked on Episode 7 and Episode 9, but not the other ones. Either way, in my opinion, these leaks are 95% correct. Either way, we'll know in a few days, and it's just disappointing that Lucasfilm, Star Wars, and JJ couldn't do a better job of keeping things pretty secure. But that's all I have for you guys today. Please do not go out of your way to discuss the leaks in the comments. Don't say whether you like them, whether you don't. Just be thoughtful of other people. However, I'm sure the this is just a dream by me, but just know if you're spoiling the movie for other people, I will look on you and I will frown from my computer chair. But that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, have a great one and may the force be with you.